hello everybody and in this video we will continue working with snort and we will see how can we run the first alert rules that we can add in snort so we already did the installation we changed the configuration file we run to validate the configuration now let's go and add some local rules first of all i will leave the uh, com uh, uh, command um, the command prompt here and go to snort folder which is c snort if this was the default configuration that you use and we'll go to rules to apply some rules addition to whatever are there for the snort i will go to file called local.rules so scroll down to see what is local and it's right here let's log in uh, go inside this file it tells me what ap application to use i can use notepad plus plus or notepad any one of them so because i already told that how i like the uh, notepad plus plus so i will go just and open it here and I specify open it to his not by plus plus as you can see this is just a commented file for the header and let's put a small rule here so it's called snort rules and six syntax is very easy first of all what is the action so i will say alert and what type of protocol are we alerting for for i will use the icmp which is the pinging or the keep alive protocol it says destination source or so any port from any machine to any machine on any sequence and it tells you that after that what message you wanna send so I put the message msn msg uh, use a column then then a string will go with a message for for let's tell let's say it will be testing testing message for the icmp protocol then it tells you what is the sid which is the actually it used in the filtering after that what it's just a um uh, some digits to identify the message so I just will put any random number usually we use this lens of uh, characters to represent the SID and just a semicolon to close the command um, by this we already added uh, ICMP tool we can repeat that for other protocols that is popular like tcp ip let's go copy and paste to get the tcp for example i'll just change the protocol any to any and just from the messaging here i'll say this is a tcp and i change the id to two just to be in sequence and let's do the same thing for the uh, udb and the message also be udp and let's change the segments number to three so this now we have three rules of alerting um, you can omit the space some some of them omit the space to make it like that which not all the compiler will be suffering from that dramatically but just to be consistent let's do that here this way we already created the three rules for the um, snow to act on next we will try to um, make this rule effective so before we continue with all our commands let's make sure that we save the change to the local dot rules file and now let's go to our command line 
and for our command here to run uh, to apply the uh, configuration we need to run this command it will be against node minus i and the force in interface for the configuration file will be node etc uh, node.config the same thing but now we'll instead of test we'll go and do the apply uh, keyword and you can actually use a console or any other file i will use the console to see the output on the screen and we'll click enter so it tells me there's an error here it tells me there's an illegal direction if any specifier so uh it couldn't create a credit user. so it means my my um rules file uh, um, local rules have some issue so let's open here and tell me there's something close to any is not correct so let me see uh, what what uh, the error is about so looking at the rules one by one it tells me there's something close to any and uh, it might be a space or a syntax error so let's see closely here we have tcp any what about if we put here some space maybe this one well is the problem here message here is a space two or one let me check one space one space one space message keyword SID let me save that let me try to run the command again this is a live presentation so some errors might happen and we're gonna fix it together okay you see this is all the space between the alerts so now if you can look it already sent us some notification this is a test message that we get the testing message udb let's put some activity so i will open my explorer here and let's go to for example I'll, i will try to make to make it smaller so we can see see all the tcp traffic that happened just so i open the explorer Let, let's go to youtube for example UDB packets went as you can see here uh, and I just will see how much traffic just by opening YouTube this is why you know how much data is taking out of your connection by just visiting small websites like that all that because of the ads and all the things that added on so I just will stop that here so we can go back to our um, alerts and you can see all the alerts let's tap cause one of these alerts for example a TCP alert and tells us the time the sequence number the rule that was filed remember the sid that we pushed there it was one packet the protocol of tcp from to and the port so this is an example how to fire a specific alert on our snort system uh, for your homework reach some activity like that and try to get um, a screenshot of at least two of a different protocol like here we have tcp that was captured and utp uh, that was captured in this line uh, getting a snapshot like that is sufficient for your homework for this part thank you